Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. Today let's talk about how to apply filters in JSON server HTTP API. First let me tell you what is JSON server. So this is the technique to create the fake REST API and it is used for only development until you don't have the real time API you can go with an, this JSON server API. And the steps are also very simple. First, you have to install this JSON server packages while running this npm command. And second thing is you have to start this API for executing this second command. Okay. So basically, if you have this existing JSON file, it will consider or else it will generate a new file and run the application. And if you are new for this JSON server API, I have created the separate video. I will share that link in the description. So that contains more details. Okay. But this video, I'm mainly focusing on this filtering part. So already I have running on JSON server API. So here I'm added some default data. So let me show this output. Okay, so this is my final output. Currently, I am having four records. Okay, so now let me tell you how to apply the filters. So the first thing is we can get the individual objects. Okay, based on the ID. So let me take this ID test user. If I am giving like this, it will return the single object. Okay, and if I am giving admin, again one single value. If I am provided any wrong value, it will return the empty object. Okay. So this is the very normal case. So in my case, I have to filter based on this role. Okay. For doing this one, we have to use this query string option role. Then I have to specify the role. Okay. See, now it is not written the single object. Actually, it is returning the array only this array having only one record the same way I'm going to provide one more role see now so now I'm having these two records okay okay this is fine now we have filtered based on this role okay so the second thing is can we filter using more than one property yes it is possible so let me show you so I'm taking this name Let me give like this, okay? See? So both the conditions are matched. So it will return in the data. So as of now, uh, we just filter this normal data. The same thing we can apply for the nested objects also. So here, what I'm going to do, let me include one nested object. Okay, fine. Now I have added one object also. Okay. So in this case, what we supposed to do? Address dot. Then area, right? See totally three records. Then the Bangalore, we have only one record. So in this way, the filter is working. Okay. So in our application, we can use this endpoint URL and based on that, we can complete our functionality also. So why mainly I created this video means so in my next angular video, I'm going to use this reference also. So then you will know the exact uh, real time use cases. So still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you want to get more details about this JSON server API with the different types of action methods like a get, post, put, delete. So I already created the separate video. That link also I have added in the description. So you have to watch it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.